Hello everybody, welcome back! The first official trailer for Venom, Let There Be Carnage, has finally arrived. It's full of awesome details, and today we'll discuss all interesting easter eggs and secrets you might have missed while watching it. So, make yourself comfortable and enjoy our video. The beginning of the trailer shows us the beautiful landscape of San Francisco. We can suppose that the events in the movie will take place in California again. After the breathtaking cityscape, we can see a sign with the main rule established by Eddie Brock. It says, no eating people. Andy Serkis has confirmed that nearly 18 months have passed since the events of the first movie, but as we can see, Brock is still trying to break his new friend's bad habits. We can notice a lot of interesting details in Eddie's flat. We've discovered that Venom adores sweet things, and we can see M&M's candies on Brock's fridge. At the same time, it's difficult to explain why Eddie and Venom need chickens in their flat. Also, it's possible to notice the eighth studio album, The Dark Side of the Moon, by the English rock band Pink Floyd. And since we're talking about the music, we'd like to mention that Venom listens to the song One by Three Dog Night while making the super tasty lunch for Eddie. Ta -da! Catch up. Excuse me. The trailer also shows us Mrs. Chen, a shop owner from the first movie. Now, it looks like she is on friendly terms with both Eddie and Venom. Besides, when Brock enters the shop, a magazine stand displays an issue with Stan Lee's image on the front cover. We can also see some moments from the prison that holds Cletus Cassidy, aka Carnage. Probably you've noticed that the character has shaved his clown-like red mop. In addition, Cassidy tells us about a strange bond between the serial killer and Eddie Brock. The trailer provides the audience with the first look at Patrick Mulligan, played by Stephen Graham. It looks like he's investigating the Cletus Cassidy case, and probably the police officer hopes that Eddie Brock will help get the serial killer to talk. The interesting fact is that Patrick Mulligan is Toxin in Marvel Comics. So, maybe we will see this symbiote in the movie too. The Daily Bugle newspaper is one of the most mind-blowing easter eggs in the trailer. Its logo has the exact same design as in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy. Plus, when Stephen Graham's character ruffles the newspaper, it's possible to notice the parts of the words which may be Avengers and Nightmare. Does it mean that the movie takes place in the MCU? We all hope to get the answer to this question in the nearest future. The trailer shows us the Ravencroft Institute, where scientists experiment on the cruelest criminals. Some shots show us a young girl played by Naomi Harris. Her name is Frances Barrison, aka Shriek. She is Cassidy's lover and a villain able to manipulate sound. In addition, we can see Cassidy's execution, which fails and leads to his transformation into Carnage. Obviously, after these events, Cassidy and Shriek will burn the building and escape Ravencroft. Many fans have been hoping for a Spider-Man cameo, but we've got only a moment which shows us Cletus Cassidy killing a tiny spider. This scene refers directly to Spider-Man and, maybe, to the upcoming battle between Spidey and Carnage. Finally, the trailer provides us with the first look at Carnage. And we'd like to mention that the character's design is just awesome. Some shots show us the villain destroying vehicles and growing to huge sizes. Besides, we can see the symbiote in front of a stained glass window. Probably, this shot teases the final battle between Venom and Carnage in a cathedral or church. That's all for now, and what do you think about the upcoming movie? Are you looking forward to it? Please, share your thoughts and expectations with us. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give us a like, comment, and subscribe.